Hi guys. This is an exciting Thursday night, February 15th, 2024. So I kind of started in on this rant uh, at the end of my Valentine's Day rant last night, uh, but I, I hadn't finished this uh, Netflix series about this uh, fucking cult leader named Rael, R-A-E-L. So I guess it was at four, I think maybe four parts, each one 45 minutes, so three hours to watch this thing spread over four hours. <coughs> so for the past week, I've been, I, I've been watching this thing <laughs> on this dude on the, who calls himself Rael, this cult this cult leader convincing all of these unbelievable clueless morons that uh, you know he that he had some sort of direct communication w w with this civilization of space aliens uh, called the Elohim the Elohim I think I think the Elohim are the the same uh, supposed space race as the Anunnaki and, and, and Elohim Anunnaki whatever you want to call these fuckers and uh, I'm watching this thing and, and getting deeper and deeper and deeper into this and, and say and, and say okay this has got to be one of these Netflix mock you know these mockumentaries that Netflix has done seeing how long they can yank people's I, I love these mockumentaries where it, it's total fucking bullshit the entire thing they, they, they whoever makes these things and, and, and I have and I'm in full support of them just just fabricating these entire stories and and, and, the, and the more I'm watching this I'm thinking this has got to be a mockumentary there is no fucking way that this is real uh, uh, for all kinds of reasons but one of the main reasons is so this guy who is building this big ass cult uh, all around him was very active uh, I, I, I guess it, it, it it's still going on it, it, it hasn't even dis it's still going on over there and he's over there in Japan it's taking off in Africa it started I'm thinking around the mid 70s uh, you, you know the first time I got abducted by space aliens was in 1978 and, and so this guy was out uh, forming this unadulterated horseshit cult based on this absolutely preposterous absolutely preposterous claim that 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 he'd uh, been invited but by the fucking Elohim space aliens to go on a ride in a UFO and and, and that he was appointed their ambassador uh, on the planet and, and uh, it, 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 it was mainly uh, th these throngs throngs of gorgeous women right up till today the guy is about 80 years old and he is still getting bus loads of gorgeous young women that the guy has got more good-looking beautiful pussy than Hugh Hefner uh, I, I, I mean going back good God at least back to the mid 1970s how, how, how this guy uh, the, 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 this motherfucker uh, has convinced thousands of people I, I, I mean giving him money 
just, just, just uh, he's completely fleecing them uh, of, of, of money and but, but even more than the money, he's in it for the pussy. Uh, j j just with these absolutely preposterous claims that he has this connection with, 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 with this uh, these space aliens uh, called the fucking Elohim. Uh, it, it, absolutely absurd. I, I, I mean, he had to have been laughing till he pissed his pants. But but I'm I'm, I'm watching this. And I'm thinking this hat, this can't be for real because I never heard of the fucker. Tell a week ago, never heard of this motherfucker. Till one week ago. Uh, and, and, and I said there is no fucking way. You guys got to understand. I've, I've said this a million times. It's, it's a good fucking thing. There wasn't YouTube back in the 1990s. You understand, guys that I was deeper in, 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 into this UFO, space alien, horse shit uh, in, in the mid-1990s than I have ever been down into this Doomer rabbit hole. I was a hell of a lot deeper uh, in, 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 into this uh, space alien uh, rabbit hole uh, in, 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 in the 1990s when it, when it hit its fevered pitch in my life. I mean, but from 1978, uh, I mean, in some ways right up till today, but I, you know, I've just moved on with my life. But how the fuck could I have been this deep into the rabbit hole and never heard uh, 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 of this motherfucker? Because the other flip side is I've never been that super deep into the rabbit hole, but I have always been fascinated by cult leaders. How the, the, these obviously, I mean, you look at these guys, and it's always guys, and, and they are obvious scumbags. I, I mean, just slime ball dripping scumbags, you know, you know, like Donald Trump, who is a cult leader. I'm not saying everybody who's voted for Donald Trump is in the cult, you know, like my best friend is a Trump tar, but she's not one of these MAGA, the, 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 the maggots. It's a cult. There, 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 that, 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 there, there's no other explanation for it, and I have always been fascinated how otherwise seemingly intelligent people that, that I can look at these motherfuckers and, and do an energetic reading on them and, and, and listen to, to uh, uh, listen to them for about five minutes and, and understand that the shit coming out of their mouths completely preposterous. Uh, so, I, so I've been fascinated with cult leaders and absolutely down deep uh, in, in, uh, in, into this whole space alien rabbit hole. Of course, uh, I, I, I've been hearing about the fucking Elohim and the Anunnaki and all of this shit. And, you know, and, and I, I got a little bit down in, into that rabbit hole before I, I completely rejected it for being unadulterated horseshit. Make, make no mistake about it, that this whole Elohim or Anunnaki, uh, and, and, and maybe they're a little bit different, but they're basically the same guys. They're in the same boat. Unadulterated horseshit on the face of it. And this is coming from someone who was abducted by fucking space aliens for 22 years. Okay, guys? I know about space aliens. I've, I've been talking to the little motherfuckers for, for you know, well, about a third of my life. Uh, I, 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 I can talk to these fucking space aliens whenever the fuck I want to. I can talk 
to I, I could have a room full of space aliens in, in, in this bed with me. I can have a fucking UFO outside that goddamn window and, and, and talk to all the motherfucking space aliens. I want to any fucking time I want to. I honestly think I can do this. I mean, the one time I put it to the test, uh, you know, as, as I've had that rant back in the, you know, back... It was the night before I moved to Austin, Texas, you know, when I was 40 years old, said I'm just done with this, 22 years of this shit, and, and, and we got we, we to gotta clear the air, and, and, and so I just said, come on, let's wrap this shit up, and, and I had my show down there, so, so here I am, able to fucking, uh, able to fucking talk, talk to space aliens, Whenever I want to, do you know? Let me tell you how much pussy space aliens have gotten me in my life. Uh, they, they, you know, the space aliens have gotten me. Uh, even you know, I, I've actually fucked one Doomer chick. Uh, I've dry humped a, another Doomer chick, and I fingered a third Doomer chick. Okay. I have had, I, I, you know, in, in, in my entire life, that is my uh, uh, sex with one Doomer chick I met on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, uh, dry humping another Doomer chick uh, I've met on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, and fingering a third one, if you guys want to know. That is my total sexual history, but but that's three more women than that that I ever got w w with talking about this space alien shit. They didn't want to hear it, unless it, you know, good God, I mean, they did not want to hear it. I, I was married for seven fucking years. Uh, my, my my own wife uh, didn't didn't want to fucking hear it. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and this guy, but, but I actually used to have this fantasy. I didn't take it very far, but, but I actually, uh, several times over, uh, over the years, oh, just had this crazy fantasy uh, uh, of doing exactly what this Rael guy did. And, and, and just completely inventing out of whole cloth that this absolutely preposterous shit just like he came up with exactly what he did and, and, and having this fantasy of uh, 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 of getting this cult uh, around my my uh, UFO, uh, space alien uh, interactions, and, and obviously I, I I didn't take it very far, but because I would barely stick my little toe uh, into the subject, and and, and I know, and, and probably ninety five percent of you, there might be even be only one person on, on the fucking planet, and we all know who it is listening to this uh, that, that, that believes me that I've ever talked. To a fucking space alien in my life. Uh, you, you all think I'm fucking crazy. I, I don't know if, 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 if you guys listening to me talking about my relationship with these space aliens for 20 years, I honestly don't know what you guys are thinking when I'm trying to explain what happened to me for 22 years. How many of you think it, it's total fucking ham bone bullshit? Complete uh, right, alien bullshit. Uh, never happened. Uh, that that that, that Hamba, This is just some crazy fucking story. Uh, half of you think I'm making this shit up. The other half of you think uh, that I'm not making it up. That I actually believe uh, that I had these experiences. But but I'm obviously fucking crazy. Just. Don't get him bone riled up on the space alien shit. The guy seems otherwise uh, fairly intelligent, uh, he, but but he have you know we all have some little weird belief, and, and this is just him. So I and I honestly don't know. And and uh, and, and here here this motherfucker is 
how did he do it? How did, how did this motherfucker figure out how to do it? And my guess is that this, his name is Claude something, I can't remember. Uh, when he came up with this idea, how the fuck did he first come up with it? Because I, I don't think that Claude or Rael or whatever the fuck you want to call this guy, I don't think he ever had e even the level of uh, interaction with space aliens uh, that I did. Uh, he, he, I, I have no idea how this crazy motherfucker came up with this idea and how he has parlayed it. He was like in his mid-twenties when, when, uh, when, when he came up with this idea uh, ab about that he was going to start this cult trying to convince these clueless fucking morons, you know, starting in France. The thing is, I say, it's gone planet-wide. He, he's got people from all over this planet believing, believing that the Elohim have appointed him the ambassador to planet Earth, that, that he, Bozo the fucking clown, is, he, he has offered zero evidence. He has never offered one shred of evidence that, that he's ever been on a fucking UFO, that, 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 that he's ever met a fucking space alien, a, uh, not, not one shred of evidence uh, other than... Uh, than claiming that he uh, goes off on UFO rides with the Elohim and out of this whole planet uh, they zero in and pick fucking Bozo the Clown uh, to be to be their goddamn ambassador and and and, uh, and, 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 and how he gets these gorgeous young women he, he calls them their uh, his angels his angels, uh, just, just, and, and, and as they're said, they were basically his sex slaves. Anything that he uh, demanded uh, uh, of these beautiful young women, you know, sexually, they had to submit to, to him because he was the prophet. Uh, and, 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 and a lot of them uh, so, so what he would promise these women uh, is that they could have sex with the space aliens. That he was like somehow going to be a, uh, like a matchmaker. And, and he actually had women uh, coming in their panties dreaming about fucking a space alien. I, 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 I guess, I, I guess what, how, uh, baby, I don't know, that they go and fuck Bozo the Clown, and, and then uh, Bozo the Clown gets on a fucking UFO. I mean, it never really, it, it didn't fill in this little detail how these women who wanted to, to actually fuck a space alien. These were heterosexual women wanting to get boned by a male space alien, okay? Uh, it, 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 and they thought that fucking Bozo the Clown uh, was the way uh, that they were going to get some alien dick. I, I, I mean, the, the thing, it, it, it was it, it's so outrageous, so completely, I'm saying this has to be a fucking joke. It has to be a joke that nobody is this fucking clueless. Nobody on the planet is this fucking clueless. And, and, and Netflix has to be yanking our fucking chains. So I watched it to the very, I, I didn't want to look it up. Uh, I watched this motherfucking thing the very end, but I mean, they were they were showing interviews. I, 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 I mean, uh, it said that this was a fucking mockumentary. 
I mean, it, it was damn well made. If, if this if this wasn't for real, and so I just finished the the whole thing, and, and when it was goddamn real. Now there's there's already all of these articles coming out about you know obviously guys they Hollywoodized it. They left a lot of details out that would have taken some of the fun out of the story. You know, blah, I mean, no shit, Sherlock. But by and large, the story that Netflix tells, and, and obviously, uh, they're, they're trying, you know, putting 50 years of bullshit into three hours that they're going to do some cherry picking. And what, I mean, no shit, Sherlock. And, and, and you can make those complaints about it, but but the bottom line is the guy. Well, 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 it's hard to say for real, uh, but 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 th this guy was for real. Uh, th that this fucking bozo the clown uh, making up this preposterous story and, and sitting. I mean, living here in the absolute lap of luxury. Never worked a fucking day in his life. I mean, he was a hard worker, uh, you know, pumping himself. Uh, and, and, and I guess it's a lot of work. Uh, I shouldn't say he's never worked in a day in, in, in his life. I, I mean, keeping this lie going. You know, the, the, all of these different prosecutors trying to put the motherfucker in jail, but they couldn't pin anything on him. And then they say, you know, he was fucking impressive. And he's still alive to this day. He is still out there fucking. He's like 80 years old. He's fucking these beautiful young women. 80 year old man. Fucking all these beautiful young women uh, who, who still believe. And, and, and going back to 1975, he, he, he has never fucking uh, shown a UFO. And it, it, it's, it, it is one big fat fucking lie. And, and, and there's still people. You did, and now it's, it, it's taking off in Africa. That, that, that there's a, his African version. It uh, sounds like when, when this old man dies, that this other guy uh, over there in fucking Africa is going to be the new one of these guys. Unfucking believable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I admit I'm jealous. You know, I, I just wonder if, if, if I could actually get people to believe this, and I'm sure some of you know, I mean, obviously one of you listening to this know. So I actually, you might remember last fall, I think it was, it was on Netflix, uh, watching this thing. I can't remember if it was on Finding Your Soulmate or something about UFOs. I can't even remember how it all started where the, 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 this woman was convinced that she had met her soulmate uh, on a fucking UFO and, and blah, blah, blah. And she spent uh, like 20 years uh, looking and, and she found him, I guess. And, and that they met on a UFO. And I'm thinking, okay, uh, okay, Hambo. Uh, you don't need to start a cult. You just need to convince one human being on this planet that you that the two of you met on a fucking UFO. So, so I, I, I created, I don't know if you remember my original, I, I created the, the, this whole fucking, you know, that was all a setup trying to convince one person uh, who's way down this, uh, I don't mention her name on this channel anymore, but I knew she was in uh, to this space alien horseshit, and I knew she was into the fucking Elohim, and, and I cannot believe that she of all people did not join this cult. Darling, if you're listening, you can still join this cult. You can go over to Japan and, 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 and suck this guy's, this 80-year-old man's dick. And, and, and he will uh, give you a ride on a fucking UFO to meet the fucking Elohim. 
uh, and I honestly believed that if I that, that if I could convince this woman that uh, that she and I were soulmates uh, who met on a fucking UFO that she was going to leave her husband and and and, uh, and be my and, and be my little soulmate uh, I guess Elohim matchmaker I mean, this crazy shit uh, it, 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 and, and I was actually thinking it was working right up and and until the fucking mushroom got a view that that I was actually still uh you, you know trying to lure this woman in uh with, with 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 this fucking crazy shit that she and I met on a on on a fucking UFO uh I, you know I I I don't need a fucking harem uh of 40 uh, eighteen-year-old clueless little bimbo. So I, I, I just wanted one fifty-two-year-old uh, woman, uh, just one fifty-two-year-old woman, uh, to convince her. Uh, and, and even that failed. And here this guy is, and now he's got this this fucking Netflix special about him. Oh. Fuck. So now he's getting millions and millions and millions of views, uh, and I'll be lucky uh, to get 150 views on, 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 on this thing. And I'm just thinking the fucking unfairness and the, 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 this whole thing, and of course what it's done. Uh, it, it is made as if the, 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 any serious talk about space aliens it, it, it's just made anybody wanting to have a serious conversation about who these about what this fucking thing is all about uh, it, it just makes even a bigger laughing stock out of people like me uh, who would like to have a serious discussion about what this fucking phenomenon, this alien abduction phenomenon is all about. And so now it's, uh, it, it, it's just another layer uh, where uh, where anybody wanting to have a serious discussion, it just becomes more and more of a fucking laughing stock uh, with this fucking horse shit about the fucking Elohim and the, all, all the rest of this crap. And, the, and these goddamn cult leaders uh, talking about uh, you, whatever, uh, about when, anyway, I won't go there. They're doing it because they want the young pussy. Okay? We, we know goddamn well uh, the, the fucking cult going on down here in the Doomosphere uh, with these com absurd... Uh, assertions based on nothing. These wild fucking out of the ass preposterous claims based on nothing. It's about the pussy. And anybody who does not see that it's about the fucking pussy. It's always about the fucking pussy. Anyway, I have worked myself up into a lather, so maybe I'll uh, go to bed and invite the fucking space aliens to come join me again. What do you think, little dog? Do you want a do you want a fucking UFO full of space aliens to come visit us? Who's that? You want to meet the space alien tonight? All right, I'm going to bed. But do I I, I I highly recommend this this series, Rael or I don't even know the the Alien Prophet, Rael the Alien Prophet. If you have any interest, not it has nothing to do with. Now understand, just so you understand 
the series has nothing to do with space aliens, UFOs, or the Elohim. Nothing to do with it whatsoever. So if you're going, so anyway, it, 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 it's about uh, cult leaders and, and, and clueless fucking morons. Is what it's about, is clueless fucking morons. But how, how, how people, uh, anyway, I gotta get up and invest in human stupidity, which, you know, investing in Florida real estate, I'm investing in clueless fucking morons. It's exactly what I'm doing. And the guy who just sold the place to me, he's laughing all the way to the bank, uh, investing in a clueless fucking moron. Uh, the power of human stupidity. It, 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 it blows me away. Yes, little dog. It's bedtime for Bonzo. You know that it's bedtime for the Bonzo. Do you know about bedtime for the Bonzo or not? Bye, guys. Okay, my little space alien dog.